of the evening and this is the beautiful Guinness maple and ginger pudding which I think you're going to absolutely love. So steamed puddings is something that's very traditional in Ireland and in the UK as well actually. I'm not sure if it's that traditional over here. But the whole idea of it is that you make up the batter and then you steam it um, for an hour and a half. Um, and you steam it in a saucepan with water obviously and you pop this into um, a, a bowl so it could be a glass bowl or it could be a steel bowl and then you cover it with parchment paper and twine and then you pop it over and you steam it otherwise you could do it in your steam yeah. which probably would be much easier <laughs> if you have a steamer yeah. but if you don't have a steamer you do it in just put water into your saucepan like that pop the butt the the bowl on top of it and then just cover the top with parchment paper and you steam it for an hour and a half and it's so easy to do and that's what cooks it and that's what, what cooks, cooks it yeah, yeah. so i'm serving this with a beautiful guinness caramel sauce on top of it and there's guinness in the pudding so it's double whammy of guinness in either one yeah. and in here is um, all-purpose flour and then bicarbonate of soda and ground ginger and you mix all those dried ingredients together in one bowl and then in a separate bowl you put in muscovado sugar canadian maple syrup um eggs and then you can put in um, the crystallized ginger in there you whisk all that together and then you put the guinness in and what the guinness does in this cake is it gives it flavor but it gives amazing texture and the texture that it brings is really bubbly and lightness to the cake so it's really funny it's kind of like so many people think that putting guinness into a cake that it makes it heavy but it actually does the opposite effect and that's the most exciting thing for me about baking with Guinness. So any chocolate cake that you have from now on, just try with the liquid by taking out half of the buttermilk and putting in Guinness and just seeing the results, especially in a chocolate cake. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about that earlier, right? Yeah. It's amazing what it brings. And it brings this lovely, lovely kind of bubbly lightness to it. And then it brings these kind of more um, intense coffee and caramel flavors to the chocolate cake. So you end up in this gorgeous kind of fudgy like cake. Nice. So you've got to try the chocolate cake. It's amazing. It just, it's with cow powder and not like solid chocolate. Um, the recipe, I'm trying to think where you find the recipe. The recipe for that is in my last book, Clovis Irish Fish and Diaries. But if you really do want that recipe, DM me on Instagram and I'll have it sent to you, okay? Just because we're all friends. Yeah. Um, so that'll be easy, I'll send it out to you if you want it. It probably won't be Friday until you get it, but I will send it to you. Or Karen might be able. <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, and so then you mix all the wet and the dry ingredients together. And then I add in raisins as well into it because I love the fruitiness of it. <coughs> and then that gets steamed for an hour and a half. And then on to making the caramel sauce, which really needs to sit in every pudding that you're making from now on. Once you taste it, you're just going to love it. So it's really healthy. <laughs> but you know what, like what sweet dessert, you know, is, but like it's all, you know, in moderation or whatever. Of course. So you melt down your butter and you add in some beautiful Canadian maple syrup. Um, you know, usually I'd put in sugar, brown sugar into it because I think we're in Canada we have to use maple syrup in everything. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you do. And you say the best comes from Ontario? Oh, uh, Quebec. 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 Quebec, Ontario? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Ontario's pretty good. Is it? Or? Yeah. So Ontario, Quebec. Yeah. I think Quebec. Quebec, Ontario. Sorry, guys. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, Quebec, yeah. Sorry. I'm Ontario. Yeah. I'm an ex-Montrealer, so. Okay, in goes my maple syrup, and then you need to put in your cream into it as well. And then in goes crystallized ginger, which I absolutely obsessed about when it comes ginger. in. Crystallized ginger. You can make them cube nice. form. So it looks like a little cube in jars, and then you chop it all up finely like this. It's so, it's so addictive. It's like bloody addictive. I was like, watch yeah, myself yeah. tonight. It's so addictive. It's delicious. Actually, can I tell you another recipe really quickly? Mm -hmm. It's my easy chocolate Florentines and I've done them with Guinness as well. So you melt your dark chocolate over a bowl suspended over um, water, add in some Guinness, right, just to taste it. And then you take a tablespoon and you pop them onto a grease proof or baking parchment paper, little discs. So they're discs like shaped like, like this, thin ones. It's just the melted chocolate with Guinness yeah. in it, right? Pop it in, put some crystallized ginger on top of it. 
and then into the fridge to set for half an hour and you've got these gorgeous chocolate discs to serve with your coffee afterwards. They're mm. amazing and it's so easy to make. You're all going to make those, aren't you? I mean, that's yeah. just a cinch. But you could do with like um, rose petals on top of it, dried rose petals, hazelnuts, pistachios. You could really add them. It's beautiful. Okay, so you want to bubble that up a little bit. And then I add in my Guinness. Oh, secret sauce. My secret sauce. <laughs> and then the crystallized ginger that's all chopped up. So the crystallized ginger goes really well with the Guinness. And then you want to let that simmer away for about like I'd say 15 minutes, I'm going to get some already. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep simmering it until it comes out with a lovely thick consistency that looks like this. Nice. Okay. I could drink this. <laughs> I'm just going to pour it. No, I should do it with a nice um, jug because if we're taking pictures of it. How am I going to get this into this? Okay, let's just do it. Oh, you did it. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> oh my god, I should become a chef. <laughs> So what I would suggest is that you go to the table, let me pop that back over here. You bring your pudding to the table like this, because we all love relaxed entertaining. You do not want to be trained to the stove when you're doing this. So you can make this the day ahead. If you like to, be, you know, to heat your pudding warm, what I suggest is that you pop it back into the steamer, steamer and just steam it up for a little bit. But you can serve this at room temperature and just have your hot caramel sauce. This is going to go lovely. Oops. I need to get to be simmering. There you go. Um, and then put your hot sauce on top, it will warm it all up for you. So this, and then you just pour this on. Nice. My cost is so gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> it's delightful. <laughs> Uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> because you gotta wear your eating pants. Uh, this is too short. Eggs. It tastes so good. So this is it's the beautiful yeah. Guinness maple and ginger pudding. Is that yummy? With the Guinness caramel sauce. Hello. I'm really excited about you tasting it. Just so seeing. Fun how light that the Guinness makes it, and it bubbles it all up and it makes it so light. And the sauce is so delicious on top. So we're going to serve you off a little bit. All right, well, I told Clauda on our radio show that I would be actually making this uh, pudding for Christmas Day, and we'll see how it turns out. What do you think, guys?